hey, hi. I'm Chris at Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just about to perform a chemical reaction. Oh, yeah, and I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says... Does digestion begin in the mouth? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need some cardboard, a couple of crackers, some water, and some iodine. Okay, so I'm gonna show you digestion right at home. And no, I ain't talking about spilling my lunch that I had earlier today. <laughs> no, I'm actually gonna show you a test that you can do to prove that digestion is actually going on. Okay. First thing you want to do is get yourself a cracker, and you're going to spit on your cracker. Yeah, it sounds gross, but some crackers like to be spit on. <laughs> Set that cracker aside. Next, you're going to get yourself a second cracker. Set your cracker on a second piece of cardboard. Okay, because this is the So Cool Science Show and not the So Cool Pseudo Science Show, you're going to make sure that you make this more scientific by getting yourself some water. Yeah, you're going to put some water on your cracker. Just a little bit of water, okay? You don't need to douse your cracker. Okay, so now you're going to let both of your crackers sit for a couple of minutes here. Okay, so now you're going to go ahead and get yourself some of this iodine. You're going to drop a couple of drops of iodine on the regular cracker, it turned black instantly. And on the spit cracker, it took a couple of seconds before it turned black. <laughs> now that's so wicked cool! Okay, so what, how, what does this have to do with digestion? And how does it prove that digestion begins in the mouth? Well, hey, don't look at me, take a closer look at this. You might think that your teeth are what digest the food in your mouth by crushing it into small bites. However, your teeth actually work with three major salivatory glands. The parotid, the submandible, and the sublingual glands, which inject fluids into the mouth used to chemically break down your food. These chemicals start by creating a pH balance that is dependent on the type of food you start to chew. Second, these glands release mucus, which is important so it keeps food from tearing the inside of your mouth, as well as to lubricate the food for an easier swallow. Third, they release enzymes, which are used to attack bacteria such as lysozymes, break down fats such as lipase, and the amylase enzymes which break down starches. When you add iodine to starches, it reacts with the starch, and is the reason why your cracker with just water turns black. The amylase begin to break down the starches in the cracker over the five minutes your saliva sits on the cracker. They turn these starches into sugars. Since they only turn the outer layer of the cracker into sugars, it takes a little while before the iodine seeps below the sugars and reacts with the starches still in the cracker. Chemical digestion does begin in the mouth well before the food enters the stomach. So now you know that digestion begins in the mouth. You know, being able to see digestion right at home is why science is so wicked cool. Hmm.